Pest Startup 101 podcast. Thank you for tuning in. This podcast is dedicated to all things pest related. And on this episode, we're going to talk about bathroom while working in the field, having to use the bathroom while working on the field. So this is going to be a quick one. Here's a tip. Have a Snapple bottle ready. Have an empty Snapple bottle ready. Have a roll of paper towels ready. Not for number twos, but to clean up just in case you have any spillage or anything happens. And also, you should always have the foam soap, not just for your hands. You can use that in the car as well, and that will help you with that. So what we like to do is here are some tips for bathroom usage. So what we like to do is we're in a city. So there are public libraries. So these are some places you can go to, public libraries, big commercial property buildings. They tend to have uh, restrooms in the lobbies. DMVs, so Department of Motor Vehicle, you can get in there with your ID, and then you tell them, hey, I just walked in, uh, I want to get a, a printout for something for my license, and you just use the bathroom walk right out. Um, then there's big chain stores. Um, this this is a little harder, because when you walk in, you don't have a shopping cart, security is already checking you out, and if you do that too much, eventually manager approaches you and tells you, hey, they're, they're catching on to you using the bathroom. They'll recommend a different place. If they're cool, they'll, they'll just want to confirm that that's what you're doing. And if the manager's all right with it, then you're fine. So uh, supermarkets, they have bathrooms in in, in different corners uh, that you might be able to use. Uh, bigger supermarkets, of course, the, the mega sh- stopping shops and Wawa's and stuff like that. And then um, auto repair shops, if you ask them, they tend to let you use the restroom because they understand your plight, they understand that you're on the road, and by them letting you use the bathroom, they might get some future business from you. When they see you in a work vehicle, they don't know if it, if your company is 10 trucks, you know, if you have 10 trucks or if it's just you, and they might want to pick up that fleet account and get to service all the vehicles, you know? And you can also ask them a few questions about car maintenance and, and then warm them up and they let you use the bathroom then. Now, the, you know, the common... Ones that cop that pop to your head when you want to use a restroom, the first thing you think of is gas stations. Gas stations are fine. They're a lot dirtier than the other places that I mentioned. Even corporate buildings, they, they tend to be a lot cleaner. I mean, they don't have a schedule posted on the wall as far as them cleaning the, the, the restrooms, but they definitely do. Because I've gone to uh, corporate offices, buildings, and uh, city or state buildings, and those restrooms, they tend to always be clean. I try to find the restroom that's in a different floor, not on the main floor. If I'm allowed to go up to a different floor, I'd use the restroom on a different floor because there's less people using it. And you can also bring your own stuff. You can have like a little kit, like a Ziploc bag with uh, some wipes, maybe a little spray bottle that you get from a 99 cent store discount store. And that store will have, you know, they'll have the little sprays they cost about 59 cents maybe a dollar and you can fill that up with some general cleaning product and you can use it and then wipe things down before you use the the restroom i mean uh, this is this is more for for emergency situations when you have to you know really unload but if you're just on the road and you want to get the stops done and you get packed up in the summer months you're drinking a lot of water because of the sun then have a snapple bottle ready Maybe two, have a couple, just a couple empty bottles there. That helps. Um, Just wanted to, you know, talk about, you know, bathroom usage on the field. It has come up in the past, and I've definitely been caught out there unprepared where I've used a a Snapple bottle a couple times. You know, you fill it, dump it, fill it, dump it, you wash it out, and then you throw away the Snapple bottle when you're cleaning out the truck, and then you get stuck out there, you have to use the restroom, and you don't have a Snapple bottle. So I've had to dump perfectly good bottles of, of drinks. I've used uh, empty Fab gallons because that's all I had in the truck. And it was in the back and it was empty. Uh, it had been rinsed and, you, you know, used for water. I've, I've used them to refill them for water so I can uh, fill up my backpack sprayer. But, um, yeah, I've definitely used that and then dumped that. So... You know, just to help you guys not get caught out there like I did. 
and um, just have a Snapple bottle. You know, put one on the door, on the space of the door. If you you, you have a truck, you have the, the cup holder on the door, and then you have one in the center console, and then you always have two. And, I mean, it's a great thing to have. I know you can get you, you can get special bottles that are made. They have special bottles for truck drivers. You can get them on Amazon that are custom angled, so then you could definitely pee out of a seat. And, you know, you just scooch a little forward and put the bottle there, and it then it helps with spillage. It just helps with everything, and definitely, you know, good. But I'm not ready to spend $20 for a bottle uh, for that use. I mean, I'm not on the road a lot anymore, but um, I definitely am still on the road. And when I hit the road, I tend to stay out there. I just want to get the stuff done and then get back and, and you know, close out. But, you know, just remember, have a couple bottles there with you. And always stay hydrated, um, especially even when it's not hot outside, when it's not 100 degrees out there, wherever you are, even if it's really cold winters, you still get dehydrated from all the work that you're doing. Your body's moving around, you're crawling and you're moving furniture and it's work. Um, Even if you're just there doing maintenance work all day, you're still moving around for hours on end and Some people tend to just want to get the stops done and only drink at lunchtime and then drink again at dinner. No, have a couple of sips of water in between stops and just stay hydrated. You'll move a lot better. You'll feel your body's going to feel a lot better and you'll feel a lot looser. Okay, and just stay safe out there. I always say that in every episode because people never think about ladders. You know, when they think about pest control, they're thinking about you killing a roach They never think about ladders. You could possibly fall, you know, God forbid, knock on wood. Um, But, um, yeah, it's it's dangerous out there. You can get stung. You don't know if you're allergic. You've never been stung before. And, you know, there are a lot of risks out there. You're you're dealing, you're going into strangers' homes. You don't know if they're nuts, you know. So you always have to worry about that. You always have to think about that. Try to have your phone charged. Uh, Always have a good cell phone charger cable in the car and the truck and just have a good flashlight. Of course, we always stress that, but be safe out there. Okay. Uh, Thanks for listening. Uh, Subscribe for the podcast. YouTube video footage will be up soon. Uh, The episodes, all episodes are up on YouTube, but just the audio version. But the video content is going to start. We're going to start shooting that very, very soon. And these episodes are going to be on the podcast form and they'll be on YouTube with video content where you get to see my face. And then I'll start putting up videos or I'll start putting up images of the product that I'm talking about. And it's definitely going to be a better experience. Uh, Also, check the website, peststartup101.com. And there's going to be tons of free downloads there. There's going to be checklist downloads. There's going to be uh, we're going to have a free um, quick little read ebook uh, for you pest technicians and pest control business owners and we're going to try to separate it to have an ebook for the technician ebook for the office uh, manager and ebook for their uh, for the owner so because everyone views the business differently even though they started maybe start in the beginning and then work their way up you still this is going to be a great ebook where you could just you know tap in and you can see different angles of uh, of your side of the business and and things that you may have may have uh, not thought of, thought of, you know, this, this book, uh, you know, give you some, a little bit of insight on certain things. We'll, we'll tap into advertising. We'll tap into for, for technicians. We'll tap on what's needed in the truck. We're going to tap into a little bit of everything in the office, taking notes, the, the importance, is, the importance of taking notes and how you should an, handle uh, certain customer situations. Um, you know, we tend to get these calls. We never know that, a, a office worker's job is very hard. Uh, they have to be uh, kind of like a psychologist because they get people calling and with you know terror, fear, crying, and they're scared of the bugs. And you have to calm them down just to get their information. Or you get the the customer that that's a lawyer. You know, in his head, he's a lawyer. Maybe he's a natural lawyer, and then they want to lawyer you out with certain phrases and certain words. So we'll be We'll touch on certain things on the book. I mean, of course, it's not legal advice, but it's just certain things to look out for, certain things that you should say maybe, and uh, certain things that you maybe shouldn't say, like guaranteed results. Uh, 
you know, that's a big one. But we'll tap, we'll touch on that on the book. But thanks for listening to this episode on uh, keeping a bottle in the truck and just staying safe out there, okay? Stay hydrated and have a great day. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the podcast, Pest Startup 101.